I have with me Seb Mahler, the guy behind this bike. Hello. Nice to meet you. Thank you very much for Hi this guys. interview. So uh, this is the right person that will tell us everything we want to know about the new BMW S1000RR. Power is important, but if you just bring more power, top-end power, then you lose mid-range power. And as more power you get, you, your power delivery curve is always gets steeper and steeper. And for a really fast rider, he can maybe a little bit faster, but for 95%, 98% of the rider, it's just you get you get tired. So we, what we want to find is that you are in per lap one second faster. That's the first goal. And we want that you after a race minimum 15 seconds faster. So, so you want to be in balance with, uh, with exactly. the power to the rear wheel. Exactly. And so for that reason, we had the BMW shift cam technology. That means we have an intact uh, camshaft, which we have two different kinds of, of, no, of curves. So we have one curve for low RPMs, a lot of torque and the right power. And at 9000 RPMs, we shift a little bit and then we have the top end power. So we make the mix between a single R engine and a new double R engine. So give me an insight. I, I know that you have uh, rode the bike already. Yeah. So uh, tell me, on uh, slower corners, do you feel the torque over there? Do you uh, have the power to get out very fast? Absolutely. So I, I'm now able in the most corner to do it in the second gear. Before I have to go in the first gear. So now I can do it in the second gear. Okay, if you go in the first gear, you're still faster than as in the second one. But it delivers more smooth. So you can start at, just to give you a number, at 5,500 RPMs, you have over 100 Newton meter. And this is still there till 40,500 RPMs. That's a lot of torque. It's a big, big mountain of torque. And the top end power is 207 horsepower. So that's eight more as the previous one. And in your BMW, what we announce, we deliver. That's very cool. Everybody is afraid about new system, new electronics. Yeah. This shift cam, uh, we already tried it. Uh, I had the honor to try it on the big adventure bike. Yeah. So I know that it's reliable. But what about this race bike? Because uh, everything is moving faster inside this engine. Did you make other modifications to the oil pump or something like okay. that? Okay. The whole engine is brand new. So just to give you a figure, the camshaft pull over. We reduced the weight from 11 to 8 grams. So this is a new system. The camshaft follower wasn't here before. No, it was here before, but it was heavier. Okay. So we reduced it, and the intake valve is a titanium valve, and we have, we make a hole in the middle of him. So we make it even lighter. So we reduce the weight of the camshaft of the whole system over there, so that we can incre increase the RPMs. That's one. Then we have the water pump and oil pump is in one unit. So make it as well lighter and deeper in the engine so that we can deliver the always right oil pressure and oil volume. I've seen that uh, the alternator is uh, smaller than before. Actually, every part of the engine seems a bit smaller. Uh, and from what I'm seeing right now from uh, the top, it seems a bit narrower. Absolutely. It's, it's like this, I would say, three centimeters, 30 millimeters narrower. But it's a little bit higher the engine, so it's narrower. We lose over four and a half kilo in the engine, four kilo. We lose four kilo in the That's engine. Huge. Even if we bring the camshaft follow uh, the, the, the BMW shift cam, which increases the weight a little bit, we reduce it in the end. So tell me, it also looks uh, uh, not that long as the previous model. Is it, it right? in, in the end, the wheelbase is similar, more or less similar. But what, what makes it short is that, that we have no tail light here anymore. Our tail light is an indicator that makes it look smaller. So the wheel distance, the distance between the wheels yeah, is the same. Yeah, it's plus minus the same. Uh, I couldn't spot this uh, rear swing arm and uh, not uh, be amazed about it because it, it uh, wears the BMW logos right now. Uh, it's a reversed version like of the ones on MotoGP. How this will affect the, the way the power will be delivered to the wheel and the bike uh, riding abilities. You, you bring it up. If you look in the MotoGP, Moto2, Moto3, MotoGP, everyone has this kind of swing arm, even the world superbike. So a fast lap is not an issue. Every can do a fast lap. But if you want to be fast over race period, and if you look, if you're riding straight, damping system, front and suspension can work pretty good. As more lean angle as you guess, as more that the frame has to work or the swing arm has to work or the tire has to damp, to make the damping system in the end. So and with the with this kind of swing arm, it's perfect for, for the durability of the tire. So the tire life increase. In the end package you have the carbon wheels, 
the MC with more grip, it's harder with the lithium-ion battery, all riding modes. The DDC dynamic damping control is in the dynamic package. So, and your question, okay. so th this system is new because in the previous one, the electronic and the mechanical system, you can open it. It is like it is, and it was in a row. So here we have it, the mechanical system, it's built like a standard system, which you know from racing, with a shim package, everything. So you can open it, you can adjust your shim package as you want to like, and the electronic part is is parallel. So Okay, so we can, we can work with the suspension right now. Exactly, as a racer, like to do that. So we can keep this suspension when going out on the track, which is very good actually because uh, it's, it will be good for faster riders as well. Absolutely, and we always we, we change the philosophy because the previous one was the damping on soft, and we increase the damping. And with this new DDC generation, we have the maximum damping, and with the bypass uh, chain, we, we open the valve and we reduce the damping. So we always in this condition, which makes sense for the rider. Will the older version uh, of suspension fit on this bike? No. The older cartridges or rear? No, because so the DDC... It's completely new, yes. Yes, exactly. Tell me about the, the new dash, because I've seen it already on the, on the big adventure bike, and we also put the, the joystick over here, which exactly. will help you navigate to the menu easier. So you got extra riding modes right now. Ex exactly. What, what we bring up new, we have now two worlds of riding. We have the street world with rain, road, dynamic and race. That's the street world. And we have the track world with race, race pro one, two and three. And this means that the pro modes, you can configure them. So, and it's very, very easily. You just have to press the menu button and then you go over there in the configuration menu, press it again, go to configuration, press it again. And everything is showing there. So you see what Place is on the riding mode and everything. exactly everything is oh, showing. Also, you you can work with everything that you want on there. So you have dynamic traction control, brake, just like the telemetry on a, on a exactly. super bike. And what's cool is if you press it again, just for example, go to the engine. It shows you what is in the mode one. It tells you it's a source is race optimum throttle response, maximum torque of throttle as activity. So in the two, you have a little bit reducing the the power or the torque in first, second, and third gear for better acceleration. You don't have to read the manual. Everything is written here, and you don't need 10 fingers, just working over the joystick or multi-controller, how we called it. So it's very accessible. I like that about every BMW bike, because I can switch uh, everything I want by the press of a button. So exactly. very cool, actually. Uh, the looks are pretty much changed. Uh, not not in a bad way, but in a different way, a exactly. whole different way, because the old bike was asymmetrical. Exactly. Everybody got used to it. You, it was almost a take it or leave it look. Yeah. But this one, uh, it's uh, it's uh, more futuristic, more more aggressive. I, I think. I, I'm absolutely agree with you, and we have a lot of followers that like the asymmetric, definitely. But as a, asymmetric has a story because it was the, the old technology, which we just find the weight. And now with LED, it makes no sense to reduce the, 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 the lights, the shapes, the yeah. shapes because it, it is so, so little. And then we decide to go, uh, let's go in a symmetric, because if you build it asymmetric, you make it more heavier. Our target is reduce the weight, and we reduce the weight in this M package with 13.5 kilo. Very good, actually. And, and uh, another difference on this new model is the ergonomics, because uh, it seems that this angle is a bit wider from absolutely the, and the tank seems a bit smaller the tank is smaller in terms of here of the angle it's the previous one has this kind of angle that means if you are braking you know that as a racer yes. always it, it bends you your slide, legs yes. you always slide so you can get more support from here the frame if you look at it, it's so narrow it's similar to v4 it's no big difference so that the seat give a lot of grips and the handlebar is wider and a little bit op more open not like that it's more open so and the footrest on the standard one is machined so you get a lot of grip from the footrest from the seat from the fuel tank there's a very impressive thing that you've made with a with a triple three clamp over here because you cannot use uh, clip-ons without adding a new part over here exactly the goal was here reducing the weight and we find it's laughing this, uh, 126 good, gram thing, yes. yeah it's it's everything comes together but for races they say okay I would like to have a triple clamp on my, my fork you just change 
this part. Yeah, it's uh, it's easy to spot because we have a bolt exactly on each side, and then you you can fit it. So everything looks very good. What what do you think? This M uh, bike, it's already usable for track. So this is the package we should go for because we have the lightweight wheel, the adjustable rear sets, uh, the light battery, the light battery that uh, delivers a. Uh, the same voltage, the same thing. Everybody is afraid of light batteries because they think they, they don't last as much as a usual yeah. battery, but it's the same thing. If you look on your mobile phone, you have lithium ion battery. Yes. You don't ask for battery which so you have for 10 years ago. Priority. So that's, that, that's yeah. the thing, yes. So uh, if you remove everything, uh, in your opinion, it will go down without the, the Euro 4 regulations. Uh, it will go down at least 10 kilograms. So this will be another thing when you're using it on yeah. track. If you go using on track, you take the mirrors away with the indicators, you take this away, you take the lights maybe away, you, you change the exhaust, exhaust system, system to yes. titanium, then you come really very, very definitely down on the 190. I don't think if it's a number, but it's really a big so, step. So the thing is, when you when you switch to, to the, the race trim, then this bike will actually show up its abilities. That's what I'm, I'm, uh, I'm seeing. I think you're smiling already, so I, I know this will be very good. Uh, a lot of the changes, actually you don't have to change anything else because this uh, is a beam frame on the rear, just like the racing ones. So everything looks race intended already. On that, that, was, that was our target, to be competitor on the racetrack and give as well a benefit on the road. So, and if you look at the rear suspension, it's really far away from the engine, so we have less heat impact. Then we reduce the, the ratio of the damping. That means we have not one, before we have one to 1.9. Now we have one to 1.6. So that means less oil pressure. It's that it's more sensitive. So it gives you better feedback. Very cool. Very cool job. We love it already. Can't wait to test it. And many thanks to you. Thank you very many much. Many thanks. See you guys. Thanks.